Hey guys, it's Wendy here. How are you? I hope you are great. I am fantastic. Another day and another day of getting ready. My mom was here. She was taking care of the babies at this time, you know, just to give me a little break. I was feeling a bit overwhelmed. And um, yeah, so I took some time to like get ready, do my makeup and kind of like get out of bed because, you know, it was a rough few days for me. So I was there um, doing little eyeshadow and, you know, just um, I did some skin prep and just taking care of my skin. I think that's quite important. And, you know, sometimes I start doing the eye first and then I just um, do the foundation and all the rest. So the makeup does really make a difference. And sometimes even if you stay in home, um, on my case at least, um, I still like to paint myself a little bit, even if it's just uh, some, you know, lipstick or a little eyeshadow or a little bit of um, foundation, it does um, lift my self-esteem up for a little bit. So I was kind of like recording the gets ready with me at this point and uh, yeah. It was cool to have my mom around. She used to stay eating sometimes and just the kids enjoy to play with her and she really enjoys to play with them almost, you know, more than us as parents. We feel tired sometimes, but the grandparents are always there for the kids. So after doing some contour, I was blending, blending, blending just to give a little shape to my face and just, you know, uh, using the sponge because the blending is the most important part of the makeup. And then I did some just uh, concealer to make, um, give some light to the eyes and some areas on the face. So yeah, just uh, doing a little makeup I hope you like, everybody has their own routine, so let me know in the comments if you use um, some different products or which one is your routine. Um, I use also blush and highlighter just to finish up and um, yeah, seal everything with some powder and at the same time I was speaking with my mom. So I was doing this update for you guys about, you know, um, how I felt in the first trimester of pregnancy and how I was dealing with everything. But at this point, I really decided to just get out of bed, get ready, started being a bit more active and uh, search for some help as well, because sometimes we cannot do everything by ourselves even though we feel like we can and sometimes we even feel like if somebody offers help um, you know you just kind of like don't want it but it's important to just um, deliver some tasks sometimes and if you have people around that can help you out and that really wants it so let's take a little advantage of that and that's kind of like what I did with my mom for this little bit of time also is nice because she always talking with my family from brazil so can, that's kind of like the only window of connection i still have with them uh, remember that when i moved from brazil to spain i was only 10 years old so i was really young and maybe that's why um, my spanish is kind of is good it's better than my portuguese and then i moved to england when i was 25 so I'm 32 now and I just came back from England like last year, last during the last two years. So I haven't been here in Spain for a long time. So all of the connections and friendships I used to have, they kind of like disappear, most of them at least. I have still a couple of friends, but they are also moms and they are busy with their own lives and I don't see them too much. So I'm kind of like rebuilding all my connections and all my friendships and it's, you know, difficult because my family isn't here and it's just me and the kids and Jamai and 
you know, my mom sometimes. But it's okay. That's all we need at the end of the day. Family is all that matters. And friends as well. But we have to be here for the little milestones of the little ones. And at this point, Amor was starting to, like, walk and crawl and play. And me and Jamai here trying to get some time to rest because my mom uh, took Trinity to stay with her for a while. So Amor uh, was only like eight or nine months old, but she was recognizing herself in the mirror. And this almost don't happen until the babies are like almost a year and a half. So I was really proud of her, of her milestones and advancements. And yeah, she was crawling, moving very fast. What and is going yeah, on here? It's weird know? the time when I really can connect with her because Trinity is always with us and they most of the time play together. So we can get some stuff done in the house. But this day, because my mom took Trinity, I really had some time to deeply connect with Amor and look at her, she's so cute and she's so young in these videos and it's kind of like a nice memory to have these videos and look back at them and you know, just kind of enjoy so after this we looked outside and there was a beautiful rainbow uh, where we live there are a lot of rainbows sometimes and it's nice so here Trinity was back and she was helping me to do my makeup. This I believe was the next day and here she is putting lipstick on my lips and you know she is the cutest. She helped me out with everything and I tried to get her, get her involved as well. So yeah, she is a good helper. Trinity is um, learning to talk. She speaks really well and she's developing very well. And uh, you know, Amor is just like with me all day. Uh, she doesn't speak yet, but she points at things and makes little noises. And everybody loves them so much. They receive compliments everywhere we go. Like the people literally stopped us to say, Oh my god, your daughters are so beautiful. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, thank you, thank you. Um, literally today, someone told me, oh, Trinity's are lashes. Where did she took them from? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Probably, um, you know, she's so beautiful. More than we will ever be. But you know, they are just the perfect mix of us, I believe. And yeah, we are really proud of them. And I try to get them ready um, with me. And all the time when I'm doing my makeup, they are usually around. And yeah, it's just like nice to have that time and make it a little ritual. Because at the end of the day, I cannot have it. By myself anymore so it's better include them than just you know not include them because otherwise they will be doing noise in the background and just I don't really know what they will be doing so I rather be, have them with me in this way I know what they're doing and I can um, control them teach them and be with them that's also something nice um, Trinity really enjoys to you know have her own time with the camera and doing her own videos and you know it's just nice to to enjoy this time with them both but this is the my makeup is almost ready i usually don't do many steps if i'm not going to go out so i'm just doing the basics in this case um, eyeshadow, a uh, little mascara, some foundation and a lipstick and that's it, we're kind of good to go and also um, eyeliner, I think the eyeliner does a quite difference on the eyes so I usually try to do a like, very thin eyeliner just to get the eyes a little bigger and you know just get that little um, spark as well 
y added um, concealer and um, highlighter and um, yeah just blend it all pretty well so it can get even in the skin and yeah just getting the little self-care time even if it's with them does make a difference because then I can feel like oh yeah I'm ready to go out if I need to go out or I feel good to film if I'm at home and I feel good to just do whatever I need to do so that it is the makeup of today I'm ready and um, yeah guys I hope you enjoyed to watch me doing the makeup the, here at the girls they play in blocks next to me and I am fully ready so thank you for watching after this um, I came downstairs and it was time to prepare some dinner but first I made some juice and I'm going to prepare orange juice with Trinity she likes to prepare it herself on the juicer so I'm cutting all the oranges for her to just use it after um, peeling them I cut them put them in a plate and she herself adds her adds it to the juicer and I start juicing it and we get some fresh orange juice just ready to consume and she participates as well on the making process so she feels more um, happy to enjoy it and you know I add other fruits also so they can have a little bit of the vitamins and yeah is something that I do very often and is also nice because it helps you to detox sometimes if we buy these juices that are pre-made you don't even know how much sugar there are in them or conservants and it's always better I believe if you buy the fruits and you make the juice your own even though it still have sugars they are the natural sugars from the fruit and it is not any added products that sometimes we when we buy the stuff from the store we don't really know what are they really adding so then we had some nice time just uh, doing some filters and you know enjoying time with each other uh, motherhood really feels like is nothing but is a lot of work and it's a lot of playing time as well with the kids and a lot of time was just being hanging around with the kids and all that time is absolutely um, you know very nice and unpriceable because the kids enjoy it and we enjoy and the time that goes so quickly will never go back and we sometimes believe it's hard when the kids are young but it's like you don't know that one day we will look back and they will not be here anymore so we better just enjoy while they are here and this is one of the reasons why i rather stay home with them and just try to figure out an internet way of making a living instead of going out and finding a job and just be like I don't know how many hours outside the house because then I wouldn't know what are they doing with who they are or you know I just wouldn't spend this time with them so that's something that really frightens me to frighten me to think like oh my gosh I have to go and get a job or something like that it's something that I don't even want to think about because I really love and enjoy the time with them and um, yeah trinity is the best i love the way she is developing and the way she's learning everything and she's just teaching me a lot as well and the more she grows and the more she learns the more i learn how to talk to her as well and how to be with her and it's just like the best and we also enjoy the time when we can spend the time out in the house because you know it's a luxury to have the outside space and just to be there with them and she enjoys uh, you know this time as well and the most important thing she enjoys going to the park and uh, she enjoys to be with us and this time is the only real time that she will be with us because now uh, she's getting ready to start school 
in September so these are kind of like her summer vacations and yeah this was the time when she was with my mom in her house and yeah my mom sent me some little videos just to catch up on what she's doing so this was the vlog of today thank you so much for watching guys i love you and i see you on the next one don't forget to like share subscribe to the channel i see you soon bye god bless you thank you for leaving me questions comments and any feedback that you guys want in the comments and you can follow me on insta thank you for watching